Hello everybody, Happy New Year from Colombia. On this quick video, I wanted to show you what um, I was building for the last two weeks. Uh, what I did was a new UI kit that you can check out on CodeKids right now. And the name is called Corfu. Um, many people have downloaded the other ones that I made, Karakoi and Fira. And I, I'm really happy that you guys used it and I'm very happy that you people like it. Uh, Corfu is a little bit different though. You don't have to download it and uh, copy paste it. Corfu is a NPM, um, NPM module. So yes, um, this is how it looks. Look at the buttons. This is how they look. We have buttons. It comes also with forms like this, errors, error inputs, uh, success, warnings, placeholders. It comes with beautiful checkboxes like this, radio buttons like this, and on and offs like this. It comes with tags, primary, secondary, blah, blah, blah. It comes with notifications as well. It has modals. And that's it. It's very, very simple. I just wanted to see if I could make a UI kit as a node module because I think it's way more easier if you make it as a node module. Um, the way that you use it is very simple. All you have to do is just let me code sandbox. Let me go and get a code sandbox real quick. And uh, all you have to do will be to install it doing yarn add uh, Corfu or Corfu or NPM install Corfu, all right? And um, there is something super cool. That is that you can see uh, the playground. The playground is basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a new thing I learned, which is how to show components in React and change the props. To test it here on the playground, you will go to seronarevalo.github.io slash Corfu. And if you look at the content, you can just change the content of this stuff and it will just change it. You can change the props so you can see how it looks. Round sharp, colors, primary, success, error, alert, and done. Maybe one day I'm gonna make a video, a course about Storybook, because it's pretty fun. And here it shows you how the button looks and the props. So you have all the documentation here to use it. We have buttons with text, with icons, we have the form fields, we have inputs. You can make it multi-line, you can make it uh, with a success message like all good. Um, you can write also maybe a, instead of success message, you can write a warning message, for example. And this is all storybook, okay? Hello. All right, so I did this because I wanted just to test the storybook, first of all. And second of all, I wanted to see uh, if people uh, use UI kits better when they become a NPM module, all right? We also have models here, as you can see, and you can see here the default uh, styles. If you click show info, you will see the source and how it looks and the prop types of the model component. It tells you um, the options, primary success, blah, 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 cancel text, confirm text, title, support text, class name, width, on close, on confirm, and on cancel. And these are all there for you to check them out. So for example, we can change this. Primary, maybe alert. And instead of cancel text, uh, go back. And next step, confirm. For example, and support text, no support text, or this is a warning. All right, so I made this into a storybook because it's just a cool, pretty cool way to test your React components uh, isolated. It's very nice, and the fact that you can change stuff here, it's also pretty fun. Hello, Code Sandbox, blah, blah, blah. The, I'm working right now on Code Sandbox. You can work on whatever you want. I am going to add, where do I add dependencies? Here. I'm going to add one, Corfu. In your case, this is it. Corfu is a beautiful modern React UI kit. In your case, you can, um, I don't know, you can install it with yarn npm, yarn at uh, Corfu, or you can do npm install Corfu. It's gonna be installed, and then all you have to do is just use it. So all you have to do is do import, uh, you can import a modal from Corfu, for example, and you will do import modal from Corfu, all right? And let's just 
Just for now, let's just copy paste this model. Let's see if it works. Oops. Let's see if it works. And it works, look at that. All right? So you can just import whatever you want. You can import button as well from Corfu. And then, let me just hide this. And then you can do button. And the cool thing about this is that it has um has a TypeScript definitions. So you can just, let me just copy paste this. Let's see if it works. So it, you have a very nice autocomplete content. For example, here it tells you content. And you will say, hello, for example, and theme. You see the options there, for example, primary. Let's see if it works. There we go, hello. And, okay, and check out the page so you can see. The buttons have a solid state and they have an inverted state. If you want to see how it looks inverted, you just click here, boop, and they become inverted. Make it, maybe make it round, a little bit round sharp. So just fuck around with it. I did it with all the love in the world because I want to experiment and see if you people will download it as an MPM module. It has everything you need for buttons, everything you need for forms, everything you need for inputs. Oh, I didn't show the inputs. Inputs. Uh, Checkboxes. This one. Checked or disabled and the label right this is how it looks checkbox check checkbox name checked and disabled checked or not checked checked in this case and there it is so yes let me know if you like it let me know what you think this is nicolas happy new year welcome back 2018 and have be amazing see you on the next one bye bye